What's going on YouTube? This is 007 back at it again with a couple of uh, do-it-yourself projects I got going on. Give you a brief update. Sorry I kept you waiting. Uh, this right here you're looking at is uh, some lime dry dry rock I got from Tropicorium. Really great guys. One of the largest suppliers of coral there is in the U.S. Their uh, facility is just amazing. I've never seen so much coral in my life. But I stumbled upon this rock while I was in there. I've been in love with it ever since. Uh, I mixed this uh, in my tanks with my live rock. And uh, just to cut costs, you know. This hobby is expensive, so this uh, particular rock is about $3 a pound when you go over 10 pounds. So uh, This is actually three pieces of rock. Uh, the two larger portions I put together with some zip ties and a uh, some uh, aquarium epoxy putty. And I covered the zip ties. It's actually two rocks. Ran out of putty. Didn't have much left, but got to restock. That third piece will be going right there once I get more more putty. Another do-it-yourself rock um, project I got going is. Uh, Curing some live rock. Never done it. And, uh, giving it a whirl. Uh, not doesn't take a rock scientist to do it. Did some research on it, so I'm gonna let that cure. It's been curing for about a week. I'm gonna let it cure for about four to six weeks, and hopefully that should be tank ready. Uh, make sure you do water changes weekly with this stuff. It will stink up your place. It's best to do this outside, but it's November, so it's pretty cold. I don't like going out in the cold. So that's that project. Moving right along. Let me cut some of these lights off here. Which brings me over here. I've been uh, experimenting with some acrylic, making these little frag racks turned out really nice and I just like how they're streamlined against the tank out of the way makes it easy when you're in your tank digging around cleaning it feeding your corals and everything but this is my 90 gallon I love my 90 gallon however uh, <laughs> I keep getting bit by the reef bug I want to eventually upgrade to a 150 or 220. Haven't made up my mind yet. All depends on uh, how the dividends roll in. But anywho, uh, which brings me to my next project. This is a bunch of lumber to rebuild a stand for that tank. You ask me if I'm gonna upgrade, why are you building a new stand for this tank? Well, to answer your question, I'm rebuilding the stand for this tank for this big boy, which stands about 25 inches tall. That stand is 25 inches tall. It will not fit people. So, this beefy mother right here will be powered by that beefy mofo right there. Yes, people, it's time to upgrade. So, that is the reason for this build. She got through cutting all this lumber. Gonna frame it up. I'll probably skin it tomorrow. Um, that'll be that for that. This tank will eventually be going to the bedroom and pulling the 55 gallon out of the bedroom. And depending on how things go, uh, I might keep it, but we'll see. I don't want to have a bunch of uh, large tanks. I already got three going right now. A 90, a 55, and a 20. But yeah, this is the 90. Never really got to show it off too much on YouTube uh, in the daylight or with the lights on. But here's a brief peek. Uh, I'm not going to go on all the coral I got. Uh, Got a, a couple of uh, clowns, a rug rama, a couple of firefish which have ducked in the rock, hiding, two mandarins, uh, coral beauty, 
showing off for the camera my yellow tang, a lemon peel. A lot of people say, why do you have two pygmies in your tank? I say it can't be done. Ladies and gentlemen, I did it. The original plan for this tank was to make it all pygmy angels. But due to uh, some other hiccups in the road with my wallet, I never got around to buying them all at the same time, which is par partially the key to why it was successful to keep these two peacefully. You buy them juvenile and you can get them in the tank at the same time, you can be successful with it. Must be monitored very carefully, otherwise they will fight constantly. But these two never really had any little fights or skirmishes, you know, a little pushing around here and there, but after two days, they were swimming peacefully side by side like they were best friends, so. That's a brief peek at my tank. Oh, and I got a Rainford somewhere. A couple of blood shrimps. Uh, the light's about to go off, so they go to bed like clockwork. And disappear in the rockwork. Find their little cubby hole. And uh, they ain't thinking about nothing else but getting their sleep on. So, I uh, hope you like my 90. I'll be doing an update once I get this framed. And I will see you all soon. And as always, no fishing in my aquarium.